Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to incorporate your social media presence into your Exact Contact agent website. This includes adding social media links to your site header, as well as adding your recent posts from your Facebook page and your recent tweets from your Twitter account. To add social media links to your site header, log in to your website control panel and click the social media button. Your site header can accommodate up to four social media links and depending on the social media channels that you use for your business can include any combination of Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, and Instagram. Note that if you have more than four social media channels you have the option to display Twitter and Facebook feeds on your website instead of only displaying links. To add feeds, instead enter the link information on this page, but do not opt to show them in your header as described below. Instructions for adding these feeds are covered later on in this tutorial. To add a Twitter link, simply enter your Twitter username and handle or handle. To add a link to your Facebook page, you need to enter your Facebook ID. It is recommended that you only include a Facebook link if you have set up a public Facebook page. Public Facebook pages can be viewed by anyone, while personal pages can only be accessed by people with a Facebook account. If you do not know your public page Facebook ID, simply log in to your Facebook account, click your public page in the pages list on the left hand side of the page and your Facebook ID is what appears in your browser address bar after www.facebook.com. You can copy this or simply enter it in the Facebook field. If you are on LinkedIn Getting your public profile page address, which is the LinkedIn page the public sees, is a little tricky. Start by logging into your LinkedIn account and click the Profile tab and next to View Profile As, hover over the arrow and click Manage Public Profile Settings. Then under your public profile URL at the right hand side of the page. Highlight and copy the URL that's displayed. Then open a new browser window, paste the address in the address bar, and press enter. And now copy the address in the address bar, which may or may not have changed, and back in your website control panel, paste the address in the LinkedIn field. If you have a YouTube channel, simply log into your YouTube account, click My Channel in the left menu, and copy the full address in your browser address bar and paste it in the YouTube field. If you have a Google Plus page, copy the full address from your browser address bar and paste it in the Google Plus field. If you use Pinterest to find your Pinterest username, log in to your Pinterest account Click the Profile button in the top right corner of the page and then click the pencil icon in order to see your profile information and you can copy and paste your username from here into the Pinterest field. If you use Instagram, simply enter your Instagram username.
Now, click the Show in Header checkbox for each link that you want to display in your site header. Note that once you select four choices, the remaining checkboxes automatically become unavailable because you have reached the maximum four social media links that can be displayed. If you have already selected four links and want to change your selected links, you will need to uncheck one or more before you can select any others. After you have entered all of your social media links and selected those that you want to display in your site header, click the Save Changes button and if you go to your site, you will see that it automatically updates with clickable links for each of your social media channels. When a site visitor clicks on any of these links, the page opens in a new window. Once you have set up your Twitter or Facebook links, you can then add widgets to display your social media feed widgets on your website. Widgets are website elements that appear in either your website sidebar or footer depending on the theme layout you have selected. A Facebook feed displays your most recent posts while your Twitter feed displays your most recent tweets. In order to set up your social media widgets, return to your website control panel and hover over the theme options menu item and select widgets. Under the available widgets on the left hand side, you will see the Facebook feed and Twitter feed widgets. To add any widget to your website, you can either click on it and while holding down the mouse button, drag it over to the primary widgets box to the right, or you can simply click it and click the Add Widget button. Note that the Facebook feed widget will only work with a public Facebook page. If you enter a personal page ID in the Social Media Link Setup page, the Facebook feed widget will display an error. After adding the Facebook widget, you are presented with a number of options, including the title that appears above your posts and the number of posts that you wish to display. If you change any of the default options, remember to click the Save button. The Twitter feed automatically displays your three most recent tweets and allows you to set the title that appears above your, feet, your tweets. If you make change to the title, be sure to click the Save button. The order of the primary widgets dictates the order in which they will appear on your website. To change the widget order, you can click on the widget in the primary widgets list and drag it up or down the list. To remove a widget, you can either expand the widget options by clicking the arrow to the right and clicking the delete link, or you can simply click the widget and with the mouse held down, drag it back over to the available widgets area. Only changes to widget options require you to click the Save button. When you add or remove widgets or change the display order, your site is immediately updated. Here is my website with the Facebook and Twitter widgets displayed in my sidebar. You now know how to add social media links and feeds to your agent website, which is a great way to drive traffic to all of your social media pages.